Hello everybody, welcome to my game number three of um, Team Fantastic and the Rebel, Season 1, Division 6D, I believe. Up against the Imperishable Four, coached by Thurnlaw. He has a mighty Blow Tomb Guardian, and that's the only skill in his team. He does have 12 players, though, and he does have a Thrower, so, you know, pretty much a standard team. Only two rerolls. Uh, maybe he'll get a third reroll, actually, with it. I guess he won't care about winning. Hmm, I don't know. Like, obviously, the results aren't so important early on. He's 1-0-1. Uh, he's Bit scary, he's got a Mighty Blow guy. I've got two Mighty Blow guys. Rolled a double for Flat Fart and took Block because it's boring but effective. These three warriors are all going to go Block, Mighty Blow, Claw, Piling On. And this one's going to go Mighty Blow, Claw, Piling On, Block. <laughs> um, and the same with this guy. And I'm, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and build five killers. Um, but obviously, people will die and stuff. So... I'm not going to get five legends, am I? So, <laughs> um, probably noodle because it means you've got an orc thrower. <laughs> but yeah, bludge, bludge is the best thing you can have for any ball carrier for sure. Hello, our yeti. Hello, VV snort. Hello, Humazep. Only five killers to pretend. <laughs> yeah, I mean it could happen. I played somebody who had four legend claw pom warriors and a legend ball carrier. So like you know, it's it's kind of possible, but you know, I'm not I'm not planning on it. That's that's just the dream. Nah, noodles are definitely, definitely the best. Hello, Bucket Bong. Is aging turned on in Rebel E? I have no idea. That's an interesting question. That is an interesting question. I have no idea. But I've never had a player live long enough to die from aging anyway. So I don't think it'll... I mean, maybe it'll be an issue eventually, but unlikely. It's 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 very unlikely to have an effect. The only time that I've ever n none of my players that I've ever had on fumble would have would have would have been affected by aging, and the only time I saw it affect anything was uh, uh, Lupak with his concede farming open chaos, you know, um, where he you know he played millions and millions of games where that they were just one turn because he, he won the toss and they conceded or he made a cas and they conceded so. So if, if you're playing those kind of games, then sure, you can play enough games to be affected by aging. But it's unlikely in a, in a real league like this that people are going to play. People are gonna, players are going to survive that many games. Very unlikely. So yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to finish the season. Right. Um... I don't think I'll get disheartened and leave, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Right, obviously, zero SPP guys on the LOS. Pro protect the three star player point guy. I don't want my. Uh, obviously, it, it, this is you know this is this is not no it's not wrong right or wrong to not put warriors on the LOS. Um, they do have an extra armor, but I think they're so much more valuable. That I don't want to give up hits on them. Um, so, yeah. Hi, you two. Mr. Nice. I'm always Mr. Nice, Kiwi Nuts like that. I'm Mr. Positive. Oh, is Bob is Bob a player in the in the Rebel? Is he? Oh well, I I have I have never in my in all of my years playing Blood Bowl have had somebody play that many games that they would have uh, <laughs> that they would have retired. So that's pretty impressive. Oh, 
Oh, Bob's the Blood Bowl Ogre. Alright. Oh. Oh. Alright. I didn't. I just didn't get that then. <laughs> I thought there was maybe a legendary player on, in the Rebel that was called Bob. Obviously, uninspired name choice, but it, it could have been. It could have been true. Most renowned coach ever has got to be, uh, you play to win the game. <laughs> there's, no, there's no point in play just to play it. <laughs> That's got to be the best thing. It's strange not making three dice. I mean, block block's fine, obviously. But straightforward, I don't like for them. Hey, I'm sorry I'm a bit lame not going for my e-blow on these guys, but... No, no, Cam, no, I'm, I'm pretty ill, to be honest. Which is why I've been playing Diablo, because I don't feel well enough to do anything else. Um, so there you go. You have to fat from imagination, yes. <laughs> nice, perfect, yeah. Thanks, FT, just... I do look deader than usual. Yeah, Genesis, I didn't even know what Path of Exile was, and Senai plays Diablo, so... I play Diablo. Diablo guy. Yeah, maybe. Yes, Noodle Aris, yeah, I have played it forever. Um, obviously not literally forever, but for a long time. Do you like the mighty blow or a safe blitz? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> There's only one choice there. Also gets the mighty blow away from him. Ah, would have got a knockdown. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Get the knockdown anyway. So, you know, woulda still got that knockdown with block. So that's alright.
Go ahead and protect him a bit. Protect these guys a bit. It's alright, isn't it? Don't bother dodging him out because he's stunned. I didn't use the bully kids in tabletop before. But um, yeah, I've played it since 1990. I've played the tabletop uh, thing. Haha, <laughs> oh, obvious, dude. Glorious. see why you would say that then they're, they're really not my cup of tea I haven't played them yet um, like well I haven't played like you know a proper run with them yet I've, I've played games with them on Blood Bowl 2 um, but yeah hardly played them they're a funny old funny old team I don't really and they're a bit boring I thought they you know they <laughs> when they had four mummies that had general access <laughs> there was a pull to them <laughs> but now they've made these tomb guardians they've made them so unappealing especially with the decay and lack of mighty blow like who cares that they've got plus one movement really you know it's uh yeah it's kind of it's kind of soured me on the uh Henry front. Yeah. Nice that he opted for the safer blitz with block. Had he blitz with mighty blow, I mean he could have made it a three dice with mighty blow, couldn't he? Um, and so it was only a little bit safer, and he's got the power anyway. I think mighty blow is the correct choice in this format. What's the plan to get onto the ball carrier? What well, for me to get to the ball carrier or on build my ball carrier or to get to his? To get to his, I'm just going to uh, you know mill around in the middle of the pitch punching things. Um, <laughs> make two, make some two dice blocks. Um, what I'm going to take on the carrier is plus agility plus movement, one of those two, and then build him as a carrier. Hooked up, this won't fail. I'm Amory. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Could blitz this guy and then get a two dice block here to clear tackle zones. Of course, I could just dodge out as well. Could blitz him, get a three dice mighty blow hit, and uh, keep people free of tackle zones. Uh, chain him out, which saves a dodge. Okay, now he's got this guy in. That's definitely, that block is off. So now there's only one play, which is. Now this is actually a pretty good play as well, because not only is it three dice, um, push gets us into another block as well. Um, and a pow clears that guy. So this is a pretty great blitz to make, I think. 
pal. Get my beastman out. Get his guy base with knight and bow. Cover the pitch a little bit more. Don't want to give too much to these slow, uh, slow Camry. My feeling isn't so bad. I mean, he's going to get three dice by mighty blow, so all it's done is save him in action. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he was saying over the pass or not, but you know, I like to just keep parallel. That is my that is my defensive strategy, whether it's whether it's good or not <laughs> is a matter of opinion, but that's what I like to do. Cuts down their options, doesn't it? Because either they just kind of stay where they are, or they or they try to push down here. If he tries to push down here, then he's he's gonna he's gonna get shut down the turn after. If he mills around the middle of the pitch, he isn't gonna score. So he's uh, he's in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, I think the pitch was the right was the right play. I only get knocked down thirty three percent of the time making the dodge, and it's without mighty blow. He gets to hit me with three dice with mighty blow, so what's the chance of that? Um, three tries of a one in three, so very high odds. Of, uh, very high odds of knocking me over with a three dice block. And uh, obviously it would have taken up his, his action for the turn. Hey. But now he only he gets he only gets to blitz with two dice. Uses a reroll and doesn't even get a knockdown. Oh wow, he got cheering fans. That's huge. That's actually huge. He went for the bribe and not the reroll. Wow, he got pretty lucky getting the, getting the third reroll there uh, from the kickoff. Because two reroll Kemri is very scary. Yeah, well the thing is with the Viking, they should have been in open, you know. I think if they wanted them it to be you know, and everyone says, oh, no, but they're overpowered and nobody would use normal teams in open, blah, 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 blah. But if, if, you have, if you're adding mixed teams as a feature, you want people to use it, not hide it away in a, you know, not, well, first of all, not divide the player base further and then not hide it away in, in a useless division no one's ever going to use them in. So, um, yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, BZL, I'm sure they do. But I'm saying these were the these were the arguments that because when I said they should have just had them in open, everyone was like rah rah rah. No, they shouldn't. But they totally should have done. Like maybe they could have balanced them more, whatever. But they should totally have put them in open because open isn't open <laughs> now. <laughs> now, they, or they shouldn't have added them. You know, one of the two. I'd have been quite happy with them not adding them. But um, if you're adding them, then you can you gotta put them in open. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, but then again, again though, Pedro Jack, it's already the mismatches are already horrific in Champs Ladder, which is, which is a competitive league, with five hundred euros on the line. So, don't I hope I'm not coming across as whingy here because I am Mister Positive, but uh, you know, that's that's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah yeah I would be Le Lechthenian I don't even like those war dancers in there you know I don't like that gutter runners or scaven catchers <laughs> um, yeah no I wouldn't I wouldn't be a fan of that so I can't hit any of his tomb guardians I can't hit this guy could hit him with mighty blow, but I think going for the safer block hit is better. He can block him without block. He can block him without block. And then move. Oh no, he can block first, then he can come around here, and then reposition a bit. 
So do the blitz first to see what happens. And it's with block. Perfect. Right. And we get this guy out in front here. Because that's like the worst spot, isn't it? Potential. Kind of getting surfed. Elf screen, look at this. Look at this cheeky elf screen. Right, this block really kind of has to work. That's the unfortunate thing. Obviously, stranding a warrior on a skeleton is is a bit crap. But on the other hand, I've got mighty blow, so I'm getting mighty blow hit every turn against armor seven. So that's that's not something I'm going to be complaining about. Oh, so now now comes the risk. I either push him here. To get him away from there, which I'm, I'm totally going to do. Or am I? I could have just pushed him away and then had this guy free. And then dodged him. But now it gave me the option of blocking him and being basing him. But then basing a strength fire. Nah, he's just going to go somewhere else. Oh, let's go here. Oh, well. That's okay. That's like failing a dodge and re-rolling it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another stun. Well, that's all right. He gets in the way, actually. So, yeah, that was that was a great block to make, and failure wasn't wasn't that bad. I mean, they're 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 not necessarily overpowered. Well, they're definitely overpowered um, in the fact that they're just better than the normal teams, aren't they? They just have more options, so therefore. They're definitely more powerful. Like the, the 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 elf union team is more powerful than wood elves, and wood elves are the most powerful team. And you know, the undead mixed team is better than undead, and undead are one of the best low TV teams. And the mixed chaos teams are better than chaos teams, which are one of the better high TV teams. So you know, they're, 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 the teams are definitely <laughs> the lizard man one. They're definitely overpowered as much as you can call it overpowered, aren't they? But, um, you know, that's, it is what it is. I just think, I think if you're going to make them, you could make them more balanced by like, you know, having positionals. So for example, your mix of like, what, what are the positionals the, uh, of the elves could only allow pro elf blitzers and wood elf catchers and a tree man and then high elf linemen or something, you know? So, so it's just make something like that. So it's actually a balanced team. If they'd done something like that and then just allowed them in open, I would, I would have, or even even as they are allowed and open, I just think no one's going to play them. So it just seemed a lot of work to uh, for no benefit, you know, for for them. Yeah, it's a chaos tactic of L screening, getting you, getting you guys, getting you guys stunned and L screening. It's like I've been using a using a, a dark elf team here. <laughs> Hello, El Mato. Yeah, yeah, true. That's good. It's really good. It's really good for leagues. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, CJ Blackburn. Yes, it's really great for leagues because you can just you could have them in uh, you could have them in big leagues. You know, you could have uh, OCC, uh, Blood Bowl Tactics, Rebel. Um, what's the other one that I'm missing? UKBBL. They could all just say like, right, we're gonna let you have. Um, or uh, ogre teams with 60k rerolls or whatever or whatever other little things you can have like that that uh you know they, they could change it and you know because i think there's just minor changes like that that you can do that with with the mixed leagues isn't there or you could have can you have goblin linemen for a for an ogre team that would be pretty good wouldn't it you know so you could you know it wouldn't it wouldn't have to be small leagues obviously small leagues are more likely to do something like that but um yeah i think that's pretty good it's really good for the for the, the house rule options is amazing. Sounds like a hybrid team to me. Yeah, I mean he's he's got the strength advantage here, hasn't he? I can't really do anything. Um strength wise. Can blitz him on two dice and then get a one of that. Or could blitz him on two dice and get a two dice here and just let him get punished. 
Minus 2D, yeah, minus 2D to hit the ball with block. I wouldn't, act, yeah, I wouldn't even hate that. I wouldn't hate it. But, I mean, he's he's not even running out of time. He's still got four turns left. I think a blitz here. And then two players in here and a player in here. Two dice block him. And then keep this as good as I can. So... This block first. Don't I don't like this making this block first. You won't do it then. Right, let's blitz him. All right, that's that's. Oh, I could have pushed him into there. <gasps> oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. I didn't even think about the push. I was just thinking about the pal. Oh, I'm so bad. Could have pushed him in there. Follow. Blocked. Pushed him out. Two diced him. Pushed him out and two diced him. Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh, what an idiot. Right, I'm going to stop looking at chat. No, I'm not I'm not saying that, uh, that chat put me off. I'm not blaming chat. But um, I think if you watch my game against against Drick in the playoffs. I played much better when I was just concentrating on playing the game. So I shall try to just concentrate on playing the game. Even though the results don't really matter in this league. <laughs> Alright, so I need a player in here and then two assists. No, not assists. A player here, one assist. So they could be the two beast men. And I can one dice him and then keep him in contact. This is horrible. Really horrible. To base, base, base. Then even though I've got a, uh, even though I've got a stun, he's getting hit by my evolve. One dice here is pretty bad. Just dodge. I think it's harder for him to push down this side, so I think keeping him here to to cover the breakthrough here is all right. I think just dodge with him first. That's a less bad one to fail. <laughs> I thought <laughs> one, two, one, so nothing was going to work there. But yeah, oh, that push was terrible, wasn't it? Really, that push was so bad. I could have pushed, followed, blocked him out, blocked him, and these two would have maybe both been knocked over, um, which would have just been massive. But my fault, I played crap. Why am I trying it anyway? It doesn't matter if I play crap, does it? I've just realised the results don't matter. Uh, results don't matter at this TV. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll put chat back on. So, he's, he should be out of rerolls now, shouldn't he? Um, he should be. It might he blow cost him a reroll, but got him a knockout. Because had he blocked with block, he wouldn't have got that knockout, so...
Yeah, so the, res the results not mattering. I shouldn't. Right, I'm, 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 I'm not going to care anymore. <sighs> you get the playoffs if you win the division. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But still, probably not going to win win the playoffs with a rookie chaos team. Everyone does make mistakes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they still do. It's just that no one that I know uses them, but people have used them. Somebody posted in one of the forums, it was like, has anybody actually ever used this feature? And some people were like, yeah, I have. <laughs> so yeah, pretty painful now getting some guys knocked down, but can get some, some blocks in here actually. And he has got to protect the ball a little bit still. So it's not so bad. Yeah, some people have bought signs, yeah. Um, believe it or not. Oh yeah, I, I, don't get me wrong, Falkenberg, with winning the first two games, which are the hardest with Chaos, I know there's a chance that I could possibly win the division, but I don't think getting to the playoffs is, you know, should be a goal, because... Getting to the playoffs means I probably just get wrecked by a two thousand TV Norse team, doesn't it? <laughs> so actually, I might want to put, I might want to throw again to uh, to, <laughs> to not win the division. In fact, so yes, yeah, probably BB Snort. Then that's probably why they haven't bothered making any uh, anything like uh, what's it called. Um, like any skins or anything, is it? Because the the stats say no one wants signs, no one wants the different colours. So why should they? Uh, why should they have stuff like you know bigger shoulder pads or whatever? Oh, Jim Fowl, that's his. That's his bribe gun. What a waste! <laughs> I quite liked it. <laughs> Right, this is a pain, isn't it? Because the mighty blows there. Can't can't get an assist. He's done a good job of protecting his tomb guardians. I think I just blitz here and uh, screen off. Screen off the mighty blow guy, because he's the most important. <laughs> No, oh, I could have put them here. Oh. Some people might call that bad. <laughs> There's a gaping hole now. Alright, good. Go there and do a two two dice block and then dodge this guy out to here. But I think keeping him back here is probably better. Oh man, dodging for days. Committed to using the reroll because there's only three turns left of the half for me. This would have been a lot better if I'd elf screen correctly, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just one dice in, see what happens. Pow. Lucky me. Well, don't follow up to keep the screen there. I'm a seven guy. Try try for a cheeky Kaz. Get it? What a, what a turn that was. Made all the three pluses. That was like a Kislev turn. <laughs> <laughs> made about five three plus rolls in that turn pretty amazing yeah they would they would they would ducky but they don't know that do they you know cyanide don't know that right what what does cyanide know about blood bowl nothing they're just a business aren't they and and what what the stats say is no one's bought any signs so there's no point in doing anything else is there that's the that's the problem
That was that was a really good, really good one dice par, wasn't it? Oh, VIP Mr. Yemen Den. People have mentioned it. Um, I haven't thought about it. Plus, I mean, they gave people enough signs to not sell them. Like, if they didn't give any signs away at all, um, then maybe people might have bought for certain for certain ones. They are really messed up here with this. This was bad. This should have been there. They could have been there. He could have been over there. And then it would have been a lot harder for him. This one square that these guys are out and these guys might really make the difference. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would, I would buy some. I mean, they shouldn't have given any away for a start, because <laughs> that's asking for trouble. That immediately skews their figures because now they've given how many have they given? Like to everybody, they give like two sixty or whatever. People might have, people might have bought, you know, two sixty worth, or they might have bought twenty worth. But by giving free ones, they don't even know how many anybody would have bought, do they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Cake or death. So that that wasn't a really good idea. Oh yeah, healing potions. Yeah, yeah. There would be a lot of complaints, but who cares? You know, <laughs> healing. If I was if I was making blood bowl. All oh, right, there you go. Thanks, BZL. So, you know, so with that, that's 15, 15, or, I don't know, not if you get 40, but most of the skins are 20. It's like 15 things, even if they were, even if they were like amazing DLC options, you know, that made like, that made them look like old school chaffs and like amazing things that all cost 20. That's still going to be, you know, people are just going to plan how to use their free ones, aren't they? You know? Um, yeah, exactly, Dynamo does. Um... <laughs> yeah, true, Dr. Mavosko. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true, Ugly. Yeah, that's true. That's true as well. <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, if you really want signs, yeah, there's a way. Uh, but, yeah... The, the healing potions is is something I would have put in for sure. You know, if I was making Blood Bowl 2. As a business to make money. Like, I don't think it, you know, I don't think it's particularly good for Blood Bowl 2 to have, to have them. But if I was trying to make money from Blood Bowl 2, I'd 100% have had healing potions. Right, there's a hit on the ball here, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. Um... Is that worth doing over like a one dice block? Probably. Probably. We've still got a screen after they knock them over. Could just stand these guys up. time because I was going to go for it whatever happened disappointing now though I think I just engage at the point of attack Make a little bit harder for him to clear it all. get cast because of it. Oh, well. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Dead beast man. Do I put a dead beast man or do I save it for a dead warrior? I guess I can have genuine beast man. Just 
doesn't really know. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for that. Maybe I should have just gone for the one dice on him. That just seemed really lacking though, you know. He's he's protected his strength five really well. I think he's played very well this game. I don't I haven't had a chance to two dice at Warrior. Team Guardian here. Hello Jaleel. Calls and knows, yeah. Yeah, five five signs for a banner, yeah, yeah, that would be pretty cool if it comes to But potions are the are the thing, aren't they? That would be that would be chief moneymaker for them. This is the problem about kicking to Kenry though, like you know, even if I stop them here, which I could do, he's only got two turns left. Being out bashed as Anyo Oh that that was should have been his last re roll there, would have left the ball. Open for an easy two dice sack. I mean, he got so lucky getting the third reroll there. Like that can't be understated. Just how huge that third reroll was. Obviously, maybe he would have played differently uh, if he had he not had the third reroll earlier. But um, still, incredible that he got that. Yeah, it is jelly oil. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been that would have been two dice on the ball, but instead, instead it's a dead. It's a, well, not a dead. Out for the rest of the match, beast man. <laughs> Selling potions would suck. I don't know, Pathless taken. I don't think it would suck for cyanide. I think they'd make up them a lot of money. Paying to stave off retirement, make the uh, make the aging rule more brutal, and then pay of signs to delay their retirement. That's things, I think, you know, <laughs> I think you could do stuff like that. Yeah, a mo new model for leveled up pieces, yeah. Everybody would, I think. I think everybody is, you know, but then Cyanide can't know that, can they? That's the problem. Just because people say that, it doesn't mean anything to Cyanide, does it? <laughs> Great career at EA. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's too late now. Obviously, it's, I know it's not going to happen, but um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Wolfpack. I don't know. I don't think it would. Yeah, exactly, Travel Scrabble. It's so annoying, isn't it? It's so... Like, it's that was the best part of Blood Bowl 1. Do you know what that was? <laughs> Funnily enough, Travel Scrabble being there. That was, that was the main reason that I chose Chaos Dwarves in, in OFL, was because that I could tell them apart more easily because they're big hats. It was easy to see which jobs were levelled up um, due to not having this, like, a skill option like this. I don't know, Wolfpack. I think they would have made some money. I mean, who cares if the if the game dies long term? I mean, what 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 does Cyanide care if people if I'm still playing? You know, uh, not that it not that it would stop me playing anyway. But you know, do you know what I mean? Like, why would why would it matter if it was killed in the long term? I'm sure most games sell most of their copies in like the first month or whatever, or first three three months or six months or whatever. So, yeah. scary two GFIs without a reroll. It's not even that much of a potato, is it? It's not that much of a full potato. I can't stop the assist there. It's 
It's not really not a full potato. I can one dice GFI. Oh, not double GFI. Okay then. Yeah, it's a full potato. Double GFI at two dice is pretty good, isn't it? Could I have moved him to there first? Yes. Should I have done so that I could take the both down? Yes. So I guess I should have taken made safe moves first. No, they, I couldn't have. He, he was in base. Alright, so there was no safe move to make. I couldn't really stand these people up. Okay, that's alright. Okay, I wasn't so bad. I would have, I would have found that was a dodge. So yeah, every, everyone was based. There was no one dice. There wasn't even a one dice block to clear anybody. These down guys just get blocked or surfed. So yeah, that was the right play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the correct play. Is both down correct? Probably. Oh. That's a shame, isn't it? Probably, probably. <laughs> That's true, Wolfpack. That's true, but once you've got the air. Uh... Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't, don't swear anymore, Sky Blue Monty. Uh, but yeah, this is a horrible drive, horrible, uh, horrible drive, really, because down, down two players for the second half, he's got full strength because he had a reserve. So I'm almost certainly gonna be, you know, it's gonna be tough. Oh, God. I've got some mighty blow hits here, so maybe might get men up. Kind. Or at least. <laughs> If you want to be All part right. of Team Positive, there you then go. Uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Boom. Yeah, I'm going to try and swear less. I'm not I'm not stopping swearing. Um, yeah, you know, some three dice blocks here. Uh, get lucky. And then the next LOS, get lucky. Guess there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance? But uh, it's not good, is it? Right. What do I? Who do, who goes for a pass? A warrior to try and get him. Oh God, I don't even have an assist for the. Uh... He has to go here. Then. So he three dice blocks. Then he runs round. There and he three dice blocks. Then he three dice blocks there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I'm still gonna swear, obviously, but I'm just gonna try to swear a bit less. All right, three dice and mighty blow. Get this guy. No, don't, don't get this guy. Three dice, yeah. GFI, that way's okay. <laughs> Just not gonna hit him and go for three dice with mighty blow. Without a reroll, I don't want to risk two dice without block. Kind. <laughs> Cause my guy would have been the one to die, even though he's armor seven and I've got mighty blow. I've played this game too long to think that I could ever win <laughs> on a both down roll. Um, <laughs> Thanks, guy, blue <everyone. laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right, so yeah, it's rough. It's rough. 
I think I've been unlucky. But, you know, he's he's got... Okay, no, I have been unlucky. I've got two Mighty Blow on Armour 7, and he's had one Mighty Blow on Armour 8. Um, but he, he played well. He did play well. He, he protected his Strength 5 guys. I couldn't get hits on them. Um, ultimately, the hit on the ball. I hit the ball with eight... No, six dice on the ball. And didn't, you know, didn't get what I wanted. So, never mind. Send bits. <laughs> I haven't spent all my signs. I, I, I guess I, I got extra ones, but still. I just got the ones I wanted anyway. There's not much you can do with recolors, is there? So it's not fully exciting. Beastman on three wants to carry the ball. The Christmas man. <laughs> and just obviously two dice down. Ah, let's start with a uh, the most reliable one. Blitz him, because he's got block. With mighty blow, because it's good. I don't want him to be able to block things. Yeah. Alright. I'm really exposed to perfect defence. I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky there. Uh, maybe I should have positioned it a little bit differently. This guy off the off the these two off in case of perfect defence because perfect defence from Kemri would have been horrific. Perfect use of the one in nine there, wasn't it? To, uh, Fail that before I, uh, you know, roll the one in nine when I'm blocking with block. Seems a great idea. Having to take the ball down all screws up the diagonal block, LOS blocks. make this one three dice but then I also want people out in front to protect the ball a bit so Okay, he can't. He can't. Direct, he can't put like tackle zones on the ball. Oh yeah, he can. Mm, he's got to roll a lot of dice though. Didn't think it was worth a reroll that turn. Can use it next turn. Why not base the blitzer? Um, I could have done. Yeah, I could have done with, with this guy coming out to here. I could have based the blitzer. Absolutely. Um, but at the time, I was thinking he might not come out. So I was thinking this was like enough of protection for him. So he'd have to base and then blitz him. Um, but yeah, had I realised this guy was going to come out of here then... And to be fair, he only came out of here because I rolled the ball down. If I rolled the power, I wouldn't have done and made further blocks on the LOS. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah, Kemri's strong in ba bash matchups, yeah. Because they're, they're strength, they've got five strength five guys. If, if they don't, if they don't get uh, skeletons removed, like here, I've only stunned them, haven't I? I've stunned them quite a, quite a lot, but uh, you know, without removing them and with him, him, him having a reserve, I'm two players down now, <laughs> which is horrific. Um, yeah, two stuns isn't bad at all, but um, yeah, if, unless you remove s skeletons, then. The Tomb Guardians just dominate you with strength 5. It's really hard for Chaos Dwarves, I think, particularly. Because they're a bash team without strength. At least I've got, you know, strength 4 blitzers wherever I want. So I could 
get two dice on the Tomb Guardians, but uh, it's obviously going to be really hard now down two players. You know, <laughs> it's going to be incredibly hard. Don't know what I can do really, just try to get lucky. Just make sure I blitz with Mighty Blow, maybe get a Kaz. That might be the best I can do in this match. Well, Undead and Wood Elves are, uh, are the two best low TV teams. And Lizard Men, depending on matchups. <laughs> halflings, though. Yeah, Halflings could be in, in a playoff situation. Because Goblins, Halflings, and Ogres all peak at 1,000 TV. So, if you're talking about going to the uh, playoffs. Yeah, Zons are, but again, situational. Like, Zons obviously get ruined by Chorfs and Dwarves. Um, lizard men get ruined by Elves. So, it's not really cut and dried. Okay, so I'm going to switch sides here because he's left this a bit exposed and given up blocks. <gasps> Pick the skull. Pick the skull. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, push him to there, then two dice block him, two dice block him, blitz him. Pick up the ball and move it there. Wow. I've got to not pick the skull, haven't I? That seems a pretty basic part of Blood Bowl. I've never done that until probably this month. Maybe, maybe it's last month I did it. Last month, and I've done it twice. Part, in like about positive, month. then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Eh? Yeah, play better. Play better than picking a skull. That was really bad. I can imagine that I just quad skulled. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Push him to here, two dice him. I mean, a power there would have been better, obviously, because then he could have come out in front. But, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with the mouse. I always hover over the skulls as well. I don't need, I don't mean to do that. Oh. It was really annoying, wasn't it? He gave up. He gave up blocks, blocks, and a blitz. The one, the one time he's given me a blitz on a tomb guardian as well, and I, I threw it away. I've been crap. <laughs> Damn it! At least it's not that exposed because he's Kemri. <laughs> I guess if you can get away with a, an early turnover at, uh, against any team, it's Kemri. It's not looking that grim, though, is it? Like, if it was Wood Elves, I would have lost. <laughs> if it was Undead, I would have, I would have nearly lost. Um, with Kemri, it's only, it's only really, really bad. <laughs> oh, man. So bad. Well, yeah, I, I tend to click too quickly anyway, so I've just got to change my playstyle. I've already changed from salty man to positive man, so now I've just got to change from click everything in a half a second man to think things through and don't be an idiot man 
But yeah, obviously it's looking pretty bad now. Now that he's just based everybody. Up, up, base, base, base. I mean, the, the up, up, base, base, base is obviously all he had to do. Um, I can't make a two nice block apart from blitzing here and then what, pass to a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> See now if that had happened to me last turn, I'd have been fine with it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking... I picked the skull again, god damn it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, that's it. That's... Uh... That's game over now. Um, pretty much all my players are going to be knocked over this turn. <laughs> Unless he won in nines or, or won in <laughs> one in eighty ones like I just did. Just got to save my apple for a perm, which has come on the first block. No, badly hurt. Safe. Yeah, I know I've still got a chance. I know I've still got a chance. So I've kind of, I've kind of, I've kind of said it again of game over. And some people think I've given up. I haven't given up at this point. I haven't. I really haven't given up. But you know, barring crazy dice, he knocks over everybody on the team and gets the ball. So it's uh, it's pretty rough, isn't it? I haven't given up, but it's uh, it's clearly looking bad and. Seeing as I'm streaming and I'm talking all the time, if I was just playing at home, I'd just think, oh God, this is tough. This is going to be tough now. And not say anything. I actually, I recorded myself playing wood ball before I started streaming. I just sat there, not moving, not saying anything. And it was horrific. But, you know, that's it. You've got to say stuff, haven't you? And with blood ball, there's a lot of time to fill in the turns and that. So, yeah, I tend to say, oh, I've lost. Because, obviously, barring crazy dice... It's looking horrible, isn't it? It's looking absolutely horrible for me. This basically couldn't be looking worse now. Back-to-back -back quad skulls, effectively. <laughs> it wasn't actually... The dice weren't that bad. I was that bad. And then the dice were that bad. So it was a bad combination. But uh, it was all it all stemmed from my fault, so that's okay. I guess I could have just failed to pick up on the ball and I would have still been left in this, in this situation somewhat anyway. Even if I hadn't picked the skull last turn. If I'd made those... Uh, if I made those blocks how I meant to the turn before, I could have still just one in nine to pick up, and then you know one in nine to pick up again or whatever. So. So yeah, you know, not looking good, shall we say? Wow, well, not blitzing with block. Oh, so you can get the block through to kind of cage it, fair enough. Yeah, I knew I knew this would be a tough game. Shame that a, a two-star player point Beastman died. What can't you see? I, I don't understand, Jillian. Really. I, I don't even get that. <laughs> I don't get the joke. <laughs> well, he, is, ah, he didn't. He didn't do what I thought he would have done. Which what I thought he would have done would was moving this blitzing with this guy so that this one would be a screening move ball. But. But oh, you know, he can, uh, yeah, GFI. You ha you kind of have to make that. Because otherwise he could have just come in for one dice, couldn't he? Uh, for two dice, in fact, for hit from here. Stand him up, hit for two dice. 
So now it's just a 4 plus to 2 Dyson. Tackle zone. Um, right. Next order of business: get the scoring threat. <laughs> All right. Good. Now time for the chaos passing play. <laughs> oh. Sad times. <laughs> yeah, it's not over. I mean, obviously, it would have been le it would have been less over if I'd stood this guy up, but I didn't want to give it a mighty blow hit when the result doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. You know, I've played enough to know that <laughs> when your entire team is about to get knocked down by a Kemri team, you're probably not gonna win. <laughs> but I mean, I got pretty lucky there with a four plus to power the ball and remove it. But yeah, you know. It's <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have stood anybody up, but I, I had to go. Yeah, it's not enough, yeah. And I've already taken a permanent injury anyway. I know it was only a two-star player point Beastman, but he did get minus strength. But, I mean, that's okay. I don't mind rookie Beastman dying ever, really. i got plenty of money in the bank, so... I mean, maybe I should've done, because it's only one star player, like, the only ones that, you know, so I'm saving it for perms on Warriors and the Mighty Blow Beastman. So, I had five players that I would've had a perm on. Yeah, that's true, BZL, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I didn't say that I wanted to, but it might have been the best play. I I always want to win. I always play to win. I couldn't, I couldn't deliberately throw games, but it may well have been the best strategy to have deliberately thrown games. Like where was that when uh when he was trying to score? Right, five plus five plus doesn't seem very good, does it? Uphill blitz. For power doesn't seem good. Nah, I think I think okay. I think now I give up. I think now is when I actually give up because it's just not worth the chance of my guy dying, is it? All these rolls, he's almost certainly going to get knocked over. Then pass it to this one. <laughs> Who then uh, blitzes this guy and then he's got a screen. Or blitzes away. And then he blocks. Ah, oh, screw it. Oh man! <laughs> If that had been Mr. Throw, it would have been, it would have worked. <laughs> but I mean, that's the thing, you can't get lucky unless you try, unless you try stupid things, can you? So, I think the, the better play would have been to have simply blitzed with him, move over, assist the block, and then block. That would have been the better play, wouldn't it? And maybe I could have started with that anyway, actually. Maybe that, that's what I should have done. Maybe I should have blitzed him, moved over here, assisted the block, and then passed to him at the end if I made all those rolls. So, yeah, I guess I did the wrong thing. I did I did do the wrong thing there, I think, because obviously I was... 
<laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, I guess because that was a that was like a four four, and that was a five three, which is basically the same, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, I hate the lose. <laughs> I really do hate the lose, Jalil. Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I, I just hate to lose. Um. So. So yeah, I could never, I could never just you know lose to tank the record, even if it's good, even if it's the best idea. Like you know, it's not. I'm not. It's not a professional thing, is it? If it was professional, then sure, sure, I totally would. You know, Miami Dolphins. Hundred. If I was the Miami Dolphins uh, head coach or owner, hundred percent, I would have been like, "Right, lads, we're going zero sixteen, and we're getting Andrew Luck." <laughs> you know, you know, I'd have hundred percent done that then. But for like games like this, there's no way I'm gonna lose on purpose. Wow, that's brutal, blissful fight. Yeah, I really should have done the blitz and block first, because if, if you think about it, a blitz and a block would have would have, he would have been pretty safe with a uh, chaos warrior there. He would have really struggled to reach him, and I could have done that first. Then uh, I might have got a cast off the blocks. Yeah, Miami Dolphins were in prime position, and they just went out and won a game. Like, why? Why did they even do that? That was so stupid. That was just the wrong play, wasn't it? Yeah, so I, I did do the wrong. I did do in the wrong order, um, because I, I should have done the the like the the safe blocks first, shouldn't I? Try to get star player points for my players, and then do the stupid thing to try to win. Um, he can hit. He can recover. Pass it to him. So first thing, get him down the pitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good so far. Is three two two better than a four plus? Probably not. And by winning, Jimmy means not losing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> I often think losing when it's going to be a draw and winning when it's going to be a draw. Yeah, true. Now, oh, well, my first loss in Rebel. I mean, it's not unsurprising. Got got pretty outbashed by uh, Kemri. It was, uh, was to be expected, really. Especially with him winning the toss. Even if I had stopped him. Which like I was very, very nearly. Um, do you not do you not know how it works, Ducky? First of all, read the rules, you should do that. Are you, or are you joking? I don't know if you're joking or not. If you are if you are joking, if you're not joking, read the rules. But um yeah, basically if you win, you roll three dice. And if you uh Yes, you should like your crutch. That's why I don't like leagues like Rebel. Now, I, I don't mean the actual league Rebel, or I mean the format. That's why I, that's what I don't like about this format, where building your team is more important than results. Um, so yeah, so how how it works is you roll two dice. You you roll dice after the game, right? Um, <laughs> you roll three dice if you won, two dice if you didn't win. Um, and your your fan factor can only go up on a uh, on a win, and it can only go down or stay the same. Uh, it can only go down on a loss or stay the same, or as a draw, it can go up or down. Yeah. But um. Yeah, you know, I've got I've got nothing against uh, Rebel the actual league. It's just the format of the league, it, and they're all the same, and they work. You know, like the format works for online blood ball. So um, you know, I, I don't think these these leagues should change because I don't like them or anything. But um, right. 
Yeah, so even if I'd stopped, okay, maybe it would have been a nil-nil, but he wouldn't have gone for farming farming things, would he? So it'd, I would have probably lost 1-0, even if I'd stopped him on that first drive. That is the bad thing about low TV, uh, kicking first for a, in a bash versus bash matchup, when you expect to be outbashed. For example, if it was Chaos versus Orcs. Um, yeah. GG. Yeah, let click. Yeah, misclick was horrible, but with those dice, it would have been hard even without it. It would have been. I mean, I could have just failed the pickups with re rolls and rolled quite a few one in nines, I think. So, yeah, he, he failed dice rolls with the ball, didn't he? So, that, that could have maybe been a nil nil had I held him in the first half, maybe. Um, but you can't win them all, can you? Especially not in Blood Ball. <laughs> Right, 60k, that's okay. Um, oh wow, brilliant MVP. <laughs> yeah, well look, I mean, he, he mentioned the dice first. That wasn't money. Um, yeah, winning does tend to get you more, so I play plans, it's very true, yeah. And I just I just want to win, you know, I, I, I always want to win. Um, so yeah, that, that's a great MVP actually, to be fair. Out blocked. Only 25 blocks, but I mean, I stayed down for most of the second half anyway. Um, I don't think the dice. Oh, we could have a look at the uh, block dice. Yep, 16 board down, 6, six pals, 10 and 9, and I picked a skull. I mean, that was the worst thing, <laughs> picking the skull. It's so there's no point mourning about my dice. Then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. And try and fucking play better, eh? Yeah, there's no point, there's no point. Uh, oh, wow. So it showed the result as a push, even though I picked the skull. <laughs> I think. I think. <laughs> the game was like, was like, nah, this is what you should have done. It doesn't show you the second one as well, so two skulls are missing off that, uh, off that log. But yeah, that, <laughs> that <laughs> pushing the skull. It doesn't show that I picked the skull because they wouldn't think anyone would be that dumb. But uh, but I was. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you know, he might, he might. I mean, he, he wouldn't have obviously tried to farm it on who he wanted. Um, but I think he, maybe, maybe if I'd stopped him in the first half. Maybe I could have, maybe I could have done better, but obviously picking the, uh, picking the skull was a pretty, a pretty bad play, wasn't it? Really, uh, I shouldn't sack him yet, because there's no reason to, um, but I, you know, obviously he will get sacked after this, after the next match probably. Um, brilliant! So I can get a touchdown on him or two cars, hopefully. Try blitz, blitz with him every turn. Maybe get, a, maybe get claw on him. Uh, what is the next match? against let's have a look Hollywood Marshall Law Kislev oh a beaten up Kislev team but undefeated an undefeated oh god oh an agility lineman that I just can't beat <laughs> block blitzer very good 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so 3, 18 to go on to this so yeah, that's, that's, that'll probably be a tough match, actually, because it'll be very dicey, won't it? Neither of us having much block. Um, though my Beastmen are probably better than his Beastmen, <laughs> because Horns is generally better than uh, than Leap. But, you know, it it's something that the, the Agility 4 one having Leap is amazing. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.